A fly that's super popular and super effective, especially up in Michigan, but once again will work throughout the Great Lakes region for steelhead, is the green caddis. You often hear it referred to as the PM green caddis or a soft tackle caddis or what have you. That's a, just a super effective fly and it should be in every, every steelheader's box. But essentially this fly is more or less just a soft tackled fly. And those of you that are familiar with soft tackles know their effectiveness. And if they're that effective for trout and, and other types of fish, no reason they shouldn't be effective for steelhead. Now the original PM caddis um, called for a, a mallard feather um, soft tackle, which I want to show you the technique of using just a standard mallard or wood duck feather uh, for soft tackling technique. But you can also tie this, and there's several other variations out there, um, with uh, like hen saddle feathers. This, this whiting hen saddle, um, it just unbelievable feathers and can give you a little bit different effect, a little bit different way of tying in, or a simple, just a hen back patch. Um, you know, and you can find all different modelings and all different colorations on these things to, to achieve different looking flies and, and different looking effects. But the, the traditional PM caddis was tied with an antron dubbed body. They, they actually use antron dubbing and dubbed the body, came forward, put the soft tackle on and put a little head of dubbing, usually tan or, or dark brown. Uh, I think I can save you a step and make it even simpler. Get yourself um, a spool or a card of antron and you're actually going to wrap this just like you're wrapping floss or chenille. Once again, my hook is a Daiichi 1530, and I can use six aught, usually six aught thread is fine for this, and, and black will be okay for now, although you might want to use a, a lighter color to match the, the tan head. But for this one, I'm just going to cut a strand of Antron off the spool or off the card, and tie it in just like I would, tie it in, like I said, floss or chenille or what have you. wrap over the butts and then I'm going to bring my thread forward and I'm going to leave myself some room. I need to put that soft tackle in there and I want a little dubbed head on the front of this. But I'm going to tighten up on this uh, strand, these strands of Antron here and, and pull tight on them, keep them tight and just spiral them around the hook shank, wind them forward. Now you can kind of double up on this a little bit as you work your way up to, to achieve somewhat of a tapered body, but I'm, I'm not sure that it even matters all that much. But we'll go ahead and put a little taper to this guy. And instead of going through the dubbing process, granted it's not going to be quite as spiky as a dubbed body would, but I, uh, it still works just fine. Now this hackling technique is a little different than um, some of the soft tackle techniques you've seen before. We're using a mallard feather. And what I'm going to do is, is come in on this mallard feather and clip the stem up, up near the, the uh, tips of the feathers. But the one thing that you want to be sure of is that the distance from where you clipped out to the tip of the feather is at least as long as the hook shank length. Okay, because it's this part of the feather up here at the top that I'm going to use. I'm going to take this feather and I'm going to stroke it forward until I've just got a bunch of feathers sticking out from my index fingers. Then what I'm going to do is lay this right along the fly and I can kind of measure it. I can kind of gauge as to where the tips of those feathers are going to extend to. Usually it's okay to have, it, have those tips extend right back, back to the bend. Once I've got them measured properly, I'm just going to switch hands, and this is almost, I kind of look at this is almost like spinning deer hair, but I'm going to take kind of a loose wrap of the thread, and as the thread comes around the hook shank, it's going to bring those fibers around with it. Now, what I'm also going to do is take my thumb and my index finger and kind of help distribute those feathers around the hook shank. Try to make them as even as possible, although that probably doesn't matter all that. And then I can wrap back with my thread to help lay those down over the hook shank. And then I simply come in and trim the excess. 
Now I'll go ahead and just put a little bit of tan dubbing. I prefer to use a, a sparkle dubbing. I like uh, Spirit River's Squirrel Bright is a, is a great dubbing. I use it for a lot of different things and it, and it dubs really well. But just a little bit of that and put a little tan dubbed head on this. Finish off a head and off you go. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.